So first of all, um, when I talk about dashboards, I could have two different topics. One of those topics um, I have covered in um, a webinar for FP&A Trends, let's say, two years ago, uh, and I've been talking about notation rules for effective dashboard implementation. And the notation rules, which is about the data visualization, is also important for, um, let's say, uh, the, 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 the storytelling part, so the, the, the visualization, let's say, in PowerPoint. But I will not cover this topic today. So if you are interested in that one, please, uh, you see here on this slide a link to uh, my previous um, uh, talk in, in, in the webinar two years ago. So please go there. Today, my contribution to the winning formula um, for FPNA storytelling is different. Today, I want to demystify dashboards. The problem is that the software industry tells us that their dashboards tell stories. And I don't believe that. Let's have a closer look at a dashboard, just a typical dashboard um, that we might have here, a sales dashboard. Huh? Does this sales dashboard tell a story? Well, not sure we can have a closer look at it. And we probably see in the middle, uh, if we zoom into that sales and make it a little bigger, then we see, oh, okay, sales increased by 82 point nine percent okay this might be the starting point of a story and we do some some further analysis have a closer look on the left hand side we see a time series with the sales if we go into that we first are a little surprised because we think oh my god in almost any month we have a drop in sales so let's let's look at june if in june um, we, we have a big drop, how can we have this increase? But then we realize, oh, they probably have a different uh, sequence of the columns. So actually the previous year is behind the actual year. So in fact, we have a big increase in June. So our story probably so far is, yes, we have an increase in sales and maybe the biggest increase has been in June. But is that interesting? So let's look at a Gartner quote, and I would probably even contradict this Gartner quote. What they say is, by 2025, data stories will be the most widespread way of consuming analytics, and 75% of the stories will be automatically generated using augmented analytics techniques. I would agree with the first part of that quote. But I completely disagree with the second part. I don't see that 75% of the stories will be automatically generated, at least not if a story is what Deepak just defined in, in, in the previous lecture. If a story is about emotion, if a story is about suggestions, if a story is about explanations, I don't see how that should work in a dashboard. And let me have a closer look at that. Just, just look at the process of, let's say, um, uh, making decisions, the decision-making process based on data. This process typically starts in IT, where we then provide the data and develop the systems. And what we get out of this is what we call a dashboard. A dashboard is just, let's say, the, the glasses that you have on data. Huh? And dashboards support the analysis. So the, the analyst does analyze that dashboard and probably should create a story. But the problem is the story does not end, end with a detection. So if you probably detect, oh, we have 25% less sales in Spain. So we have a problem in Spain with sales then your story is not that you have 25% less sales in Spain. I've been working as a C-level manager for many, many years. And I tell you, managers do not only want to hear the facts, they want to have more background. So they, they, they need some context, they need some explanations what happens there so you do some further analysis and probably you then find out oh yes it's it's maybe the region around barcelona and 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 you don't sell red trousers anymore in barcelona but this still is a detection 
This is not the why. The why is why don't you sell red trousers in Barcelona? And in order to figure that out, you probably have to call that guy. Huh? So you need other sources, like shown here, other sources, conversations, external data, all that stuff that you probably won't find in your own data. The problem is that your data warehouse does not cover all the context you need in order to, to, to give the explanations and in order to find the stories. So if we look at storytelling, like, let's say, internal journalism i think that analysts are like journalists they 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 find out that there is something going on then they really do some further research they are looking for explanations they probably even make some suggestions as deepak said so we concentrate our story on the so what and the now what and i don't see how this is supported by dashboards so far because they just don't have the data they don't have the emotion they don't have the creativity to see the impact on our business and i don't see the creativity for making suggestions but we need those stories for management and this is the next step to make their decisions they evaluate the messages and then finally make the decisions so i agree manager love stories but I completely disagree that the stories, if we define the stories the way we just defined it, as Deepak defined it, and I completely agree with that, that they will be automated or created automatically by dashboards. I just don't believe that. The stories that can be automated are just low-level stories just on a fact detection level. Hey, we are 25% below plan. If this is your story, this might be automatically created. Well, hope you agree and uh, let's discuss.